Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This morning, the Most High, we get up to say Shema. Israel, Adonai, Eloheinu, Adonai, Akah. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah and bless your name.
seeking him first, the kingdom of the most high God and all his righteousness, knowing that all things shall be added unto us. Therefore, we come seeking, knocking, and asking because we know the most high God is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Therefore, we're seeking him like never before. We're pressing in like never before. We want a revelation of his word because revelation precedes deliverance. And it's time for us to be delivered from some things. I don't know about you, but the Most High God says, Obedience is better than sacrifice. He's given us his Torah for a reason to be obedient to his word. Because he is our Abba and we are his children. Therefore, because we love him, we walk in obedience. To his commandments. We have to know that this is a walk of faith. And faith in Hebrew means obedience. When do we get to the point. Where we're really obedient to the most high God. Because it seems like the more and more the most high God begins to trust you. I'm talking about trust you. You just keep on operating in yourself. Being disobedient. No matter what, you always got something to say. Through your disobedience. The Most High God is not concerned about your reactions to a thing. The Most High God wants your obedience to his word. And it's amazing how the word today is obedience. You know, I was thinking about my parents. And the main thing my parents wanted was obedience from their children. And so the Most High God is our Abba, right? And we are his children. Why can't we just be obedient? Because guess what? The way you feel, the way you think about a thing is more important than you just being obedient. And sometimes obedience is a walk. And the Most High God will keep taking you through the same discipline over and over and over again till it's going to come to the point where he's going to turn you over to a reprobate mind. He's going to let you believe what you want to believe. Like the teaching on uh, 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 day three, divine intervention, when he was talking about strong delusions. So if you want to continue to operate in yourself, and whatever that is, he going to leave you to yourself. He going to leave you to yourself, to your thoughts, to what you think. And you're going to continue to operate out of order. And the Most High God is a God of order, period. Too much chaos comes when you're out of order. It shows up all the time. You don't come to a point where you look at yourself and you say to yourself, I'm just straight out disobedient. Maybe I want to do a self check on myself. Now we're about to go into a decade of declaration and you're supposed to be watching the things that are coming out of your mouth and you're just a loose cannon, aren't you? You're just saying any old kind of thing you want to, when you want to, how you want to. And the most high God said, I'm calling for obedience. I don't get it. I'm not saying that we're perfect. I'm not saying that we're not going to mess up. But when you know there's a certain area in your life that the most high God continues to test you on and you keep giving the same response, the same reaction, that means you want to operate in yourself because yourself is more important than anything. You haven't got to the point where you can deny yourself. Yeshua said, if any man wants to follow me, the first thing you need to do is deny yourself. Then pick up your crucifixion state. Whatever that is, because your crucifixion state could be, I just don't know how to control the way I act. Pick it up. 
and then follow him. But obedience comes first. All right. You better recognize right now that the most high God is our Abba. And just like our parents get tired of telling us the same old things, don't think that Abba won't be like, okay, I tell you what. Keep operating like that. Because the obedience brings the blessing. I'm showing you things to come. But you still acting out of order. I don't understand. I don't get it. I really don't. And the Most High God said, you need to tell folks, I'm coming for obedience. I'm coming for somebody that can walk in self-control. You know, my children, oh my goodness. I love my children, I do. But <laughs> some of them, oh Lord, they testing me right now. And I, I, I could see uh, the Most High God with the children of Israel in the wilderness. Y'all testing me right now. Y'all really testing me. <laughs> and the Most High God said, uh-uh, no. Out of all y'all, only two of y'all going to make it up out of here. Joshua and Caleb. It's because of disobedience. I continue to tell you the same thing over and over and over. You testing me right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can only test me, but so far. That's what the Most High God is saying. We are his children. And then after that, come on now. The word says, uh, 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 spare the rod, spoil the child. And it's just like, I don't know how many parents out there got grown kids. I'm talking about grown kids. And you keep trying to tell them the right things to do. You keep trying to instruct them. And for some reason, they keep doing the same old thing. I mean, how many times can you just keep doing the same old thing? So, I love you, Thomas Lewis III. I do. Uh, some things got to change. Immediately. And I'm talking about effective immediately. Period. And the Most High God is telling us the same thing. Something's got to change. Effective immediately. And I'm not going to tell you the same thing again. I wish I would. I wish I would have that same conversation again. I've given you my instruction. And that's what you're going to have to do. Just follow the instruction. But some reason, you know, we just, I don't know what it is. We just can't do it. I wish I would have talked to my mother any old kind of way. I wish I would have boasted up to my mother. I wouldn't have no teeth in my mouth. I'm not saying that my son Thomas Lewis III would ever boast up to me. I'm just saying some kids this, these days think they got a right to just keep on talking. And... I'm thinking about this teaching. Obedience have been sitting here for two days now. Because I wasn't feeling well. We, we didn't come on Monday. We came on Tuesday. We didn't come on. I mean, we came on. Didn't come on Monday. Came on Tuesday. We didn't come on yesterday. But we on today. And the same teaching sitting right here. Obedience. If you don't get it through the teachings that are coming through 5 a.m. prayer and you're dealing with the teachings. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? This is a teaching of correction. The word is used for correction. How do you sit down with the word of the most high God? <laughs> Hebrews are not concerned about what you say because you say, you say a lot of things. You say a lot of things. But your actions keep coming up the same. You know, we supposed to be in the word by the washing of the word and we still coming up the same. I don't get it. You've been in the Torah. We walk in the Torah. We continue to walk in the Torah and we continue to be disobedient. I don't get it. I'm like the most high right now. No, I'm in my own little wilderness this morning saying, I, I just don't get it. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You're going to find out. You're going to truly find out. 
I, I love the most high God and I love the way he do things because he's teaching us. That's what I love about the Torah is teachings and instruction. He's trying to teach you. Train a child in the way they should go. You keep trying to train folks over and over again. And they just keep doing the same old thing. And it gets to a point where the most I say, mm -mm. let them sit right there in that same instruction. Because they, you ain't never going past the instruction that you was given that you didn't obey. Let them sit right there in that same instruction. Because the Torah is about teachings and instructions. You keep screaming out, teach me, show me. But then your actions are the same. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. You cannot tell me that you want to be obedient to an instruction and you continue to do the same thing. And even when you're in the midst of it and the Holy Spirit should be convicting you, should just be saying, you know what? Just be quiet. 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 But you just keep on talking, don't you? Do you understand the Most High God ain't concerned about your excuses, what you have to say? He's concerned about that instruction that he has given you. And for you to follow the instruction that he has given you. Period. I, I don't understand it. You know, I used to hear, you know, rabbis say, Sometimes people just cannot follow authority. And, and it, it shows. If you think somebody cannot even follow the instruction you gave them, you know they're not following the most high. There's no way. I'm going to say it again. <clears throat> no one is perfect. But if you know you're being tested in a certain area, wouldn't you try a little bit harder? Wouldn't you say, oh, here come this test again. Oh, Lord, no. I'm just going to be quiet because this is the same test that I just keep failing. Wouldn't you say to yourself, I got another chance to take this test and be obedient to the instruction that the Most High has given me. But there you go. You have no self-control. One of the fruits of the Spirit is self-control. You have none. You have no self-control. Period. So you need to develop your self-control so you can be obedient to an instruction that the Most High continually give you. That's what I love about him, though. He will give you that instruction over and over and over again till he get like the children in Israel, Israel when they was in the wilderness. Now, look, you tested me. Tested me to the point I want to divorce you. And he did. And he's the most high God. But aren't you glad? He's a loving God. And he said, I know I scattered you to the nation. Now I'm going to regather you. I'm calling in this remnant now. I'm giving you. Do you understand you're in the same place? Do you understand right now? We are the children of Israel. We're in the same place. We're about to go through this Torah. And the most high God said, I'm giving you a chance. Now, I'm not going to give you that Torah of old that was written on tablets of stone that I gave to your forefathers in the wilderness. And, you know, my Torah, they did break. But I'm going to give you a new covenant. I'm going to write my laws in your inward parts. I'm going to put my spirit inside of you. That you would be able to walk out the instructions that I've given you. So we're going to have to know that this thing is internal now. It's internal. Mind and heart. It's internal. What is it about that we keep rebelling against the most high God's instruction? He tell us to do something. We like that. Oh, let me tell you why I didn't do it. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you what I was doing. Let me tell you why I was doing it. Most of God looking at you like, what that got to do with my instruction? What does that have to do with my instruction? You're not obedient. You're just not. 
Not going to say you're not totally obedient, but you're not an obedient in the main area that the Most High is trying to correct. He's trying to prune you. He's trying to purge you. He's trying to wash you in his word. But you got your own mind. Mm -hmm. You got your own mind. So keep walking in it and watch what happens. Stop testing the Most High God. We are really testing him. Stop testing the Most High God. I'm thankful for correction and we're going to walk in it, period. 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 We're going to walk in it. So you need to teshuva for real. And teshuva means to turn. That's what I love about teshuva. It ain't like, oh, forgive me. You know, like we did in the church. Forgive me. And then you went back and did the same thing over and over again. I need an altar call. Forgive me. But teshuva means I did wrong. I got to turn from this thing. And I got to walk out a different way. And practice some self-control. Teshuva is totally different from forgiveness. You got to make a choice. Some things I'm just not going to do. That is a choice. Do you understand that? He gives you free will. And then you act all crazy. Who oh, Lord. I hope I'm helping somebody this morning. I'm like the most high right now. I hope I'm helping somebody this morning. Obedience, I'm going to say it one more time, is better than sacrifice. Because what you're going to do is sacrifice your relationship with the most high God. And when you're not obedient to the most high God, disobedience causes separation. You didn't know that? Disobedience causes Separation. It separates you from the most high God. He can't be in your presence. And you continue to do the same thing. It separates you from the most high God. And the word says, I will let nothing separate me from the most high God. You can't get me to act out of my character. I won't let nothing separate me from the love of the Most High God. I was watching this documentary on Martin Luther King, right? And you know, his uh, little folks that roll with him and stuff. And they said they ain't see him mad too often. But one thing he would do, he would cuss them out. I was like, ooh, not the king. Not Martin Luther King, just cursing them out. <laughs> I understand. Folks be testing you. I'm going to leave that right there, y'all. Because you know what? I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to tell you something. Your disobedience separates you from the Most High God. And somebody need to get real with you. I'm tired of all these pacifiers. We seem to keep giving folks pacifiers. Oh, you going to grow up or you going to learn, you know, you going to get it together. Oh, the most high God knows your heart. No. Walk in correction to what the most high God has said. Period. Tired of giving folks excuses because what happened to them in life and how they was raised and this and this and this. When you come into Torah, your lifestyle change is the number one thing. You begin to walk differently. You, be, you should think differently. We want excuse for grown folks. I'm going to say it again. We want excuses for grown folks acting the way they do. Oh, well, you know they came for so-and-so. Oh, you know they don't know no better. Huh? I came for so-and-so. But when my mother gave me an instruction... And I'm talking about one over and over again. When I became 30 years old, I was without excuse. I'm sorry, y'all. You are without excuse. Period. 
I'm so glad this teaching this morning is about obedience. The Holy Spirit always know where you are. And we're the children of Israel. Y'all better stop testing the most high. This is a warning. This is a warning. You better stop testing the most high God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Who most high? I come lifting up everyone on Facebook live this morning. The ones that will listen live and the ones that will listen later. You got one word for them this morning. Oh, obedience. Decrease me as you give the increase. I'm not sufficient of myself. All sufficiency lies on the inside of you. And I will forever give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And it's in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen, 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 and amen. So now, are you ready for the word of God? The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob. Are you ready for the word of God? The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob. This morning we are coming out of the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter 1 in its entirety, again, this morning, we are coming out of the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter 1 in its entirety, and it reads, The burden of the word of the Most High God to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, says the Most High. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Most High? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains in his inheritance waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but... We will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the most high of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the borders of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The most high God will be magnified from the borders of Israel. A son honoreth his father. Say it again, Dr. J. A son or daughter honoreth his father. And a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? Ooh, come on, introduction. And if I be a master, where is my fear? Says the most high of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name, and ye say, wherein have ye despised my name? Ye offer polluted bread upon my altar, and ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? And that ye say, the table of the Lord is contemptible. If ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thou governor, will he be pleased with thee? Or accept thou person, says the most high of hosts. And now I pray you, beseech the most high God that he will be gracious unto us. This has been by your means, and he regard your persons, says the Lord of hosts. Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? 
neither do ye kindle fire on my altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, says the Most High of hosts, neither will I accept an offering at your hand. From, for from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and in every place, Incense shall be offered unto my name and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathens, says the most high of hope. But ye have profaned it and that ye say the table of the Lord is polluted and the fruit thereof, even his meat is contemptible. Ye said also, behold, what a weariness is it. And ye have snuffed at it. Says the most high of hosts. And ye bought that which was torn. In the lame. In the sick. Thus ye bought an offering. Should I accept this. Of your hand. Says the most high God. But curse be. The deceiver. Which has in his flock. A male and voweth and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, says the Most High of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathens. May the Most High God add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his most holy word. Obedience! What the most high desires from us. Say it again. Obedience is what the most high desires from us. According to the Bible, the creator of the universe is Abba. The prophet Malachi tells us that the is indeed Abba. As we have seen in the scripture, the Most High expresses his Abba nature in his yearning towards his children. As a son honoreth his Abba and a servant his master. If then I, the Most High, be a Abba, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Says the most high of hopes. Malachi chapter 1 verse 6. As this verse teaches us, the most high is indeed a Abba and a master. But let us just focus on his fatherhood for now. Oh Lord. Most high God, you know what to do. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, you know what to do. But let's just focus on his fatherhood for now. As a Abba, the most high yearns for the honor and respect due a Abba, a father. So how would we show honor and respect to our heavenly Abba? How would we do that? By obedience to him. The most high desires our obedience. Many times the most high exhorts us to be obedient to him. For centuries, the most high has been speaking to his children regarding obedience. Could he have changed his mind about obedience? Huh. I wonder. Again, the prophet Malachi can answer that question for us. For I am the most high, I change not. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. The most high does not change. His character does not change. His word does not change. His truth does not change. What he has said to his children for centuries have not been done away with. 
just as the law of gravity does not change, just as the rising and setting of the sun does not change, so also the most highest full entire written word continues. His word is eternal and it does not change and it cannot be broken. First Peter chapter one, verse 23. Isaiah chapter 40, verse eight. Psalms chapter 119, verse 89. And though his word has some hard to understand passages, nevertheless, the most high word is true, valid, and applicable today in this 21st century. Therefore, when it comes to obedience, the most high stated desires for obedience, children remains constant. It's a constant thing. It's a constant thing. The most high over and over again is telling you a constant thing. His word remains obedient. So, be as little children. Yeshua HaMashiach directed us to be as little children. And Yeshua called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except you be converted. And become as little children. You shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 18 verse 2 and 3. As this passage teaches. Being as a little child. Essential for entering the kingdom of heaven. Mark chapter 10 verse 15. And you better see Luke chapter 18 verse 17. Now. If we consider the word obedience to be a word only for little children, then we as believers must realize that we are to be as little children. We qualify for applying the word obedience to ourselves. With the most high in heaven and you and me on the earth being as little children is exactly how our heavenly Abba sees us. In the scriptures, we often address, we are often addressed as little children. The patriarch Abraham illustrates this. Abraham was as a little child. Because he was obedient to the Most High. The Apostle Peter exalts us to be as obedient children who call on the Most High as our Abba. Obedience is a central part of the purifying process for growing and maturing and Mashiach. Say it again, Dr. J. Obedience is the central part of the purifying process for growing and maturing and Mashiach. It is clear that our heavenly Abba desires obedient children. Yes. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 8. First Peter chapter 1 verse 22. Also see First Peter chapter 1 verse 8. 13 through 17. But what does he desire for us to obey? Say it again, Dr. J. But what does he desire for us to obey? Let's consider what his son Yeshua says. If ye love me, Yeshua said, if ye love me, keep, obey my commandments. John chapter 14, verse 15. Perhaps some of us may think that keeping Yeshua commandments are limited to only the New Testament commandments. However, at the time when Yeshua said the above statement, there was no New Testament in existence. I'm going to say it again. Perhaps 
Some of us may think that keeping Yeshua commandments are limited to only the new commandments in the New Testament. However, at that time when Yeshua said the above statement, there was no New Testament in existence. Therefore, his exhortation to keep his commandments refers to what is commonly known as the Old Testament. Since Malachi is the word made flesh. Woo! Since Mashiach, excuse me, is the word made flesh, then the Old Testament scripture is where we find his instructions and guidelines for us to obey. It is in the Old Testament where we find the instructions for, observe, for observing the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week. The instructions for not eating unclean things. The instructions for obeying the most high feast days. And many other instructions that are part of the house rules. For the children of the most high God. If we love Mashiach. From the depths of our hearts. Then we will be among those who will gladly choose to obey Yeshua. The son of the most high who is one with his Abba. If we love Mashiach, we will exhibit our loyalty to him. By our humble submission and obedience to Mashiach's words, including those from Genesis to Malachi. As the scripture tells us, Yeshua HaMashiach is the word made flesh according to John chapter 1 verse 14. Therefore, his words. Include the words he gave to Moses and to all the prophets because he spoke his words from the beginning. You better see Exodus chapter 31 verse 18, Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 10, Luke chapter 11 verse 20, John chapter 1 verse 1, drop down to 14, Revelations chapter 19 verse 13. Eternal words. I'm going to say it again. Eternal words. Entirely. All of the most highs written word is true throughout all generations. Abba tells us his word is eternal. Words cannot ever become invalid. Psalms chapter 105 verse 8, Psalms chapter 119 verse 160, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23 and 25. All the written scripture are eternal words for believers to apply to their life in every age throughout history. We can be confident that the scriptures such as the following are relevant and up to date. These words are part of our heavenly Abba's house rules for his family. Number one, you shall walk after the most high and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And you shall serve him and cleave unto him. Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 14 number 2. And Moses and the priests, the Levites, spoke unto all Israel saying, Take heed and hearken, O Israel, this day you are become the people of the Most High. You shall therefore obey the voice. Of the most high and do his commandments and his statutes which I command you this day. Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 9 drop down to 10 and you better also see Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 26 through 28. As the scripture shows us the most high's word 
urges his people to obey him. This is our Abba's desire. Obedience from his people, his servants, his children. This has been his desire from the beginning. It is well pleasing to him to have obedient children. Uh-oh, children. Obey your parents in all things. For this is well pleasing unto the most high. I'm going to have to get up on that one. I'm just going to have to get up for a second. Who know it? Who know it? Who oh Lord, read it again. And this is in the New Testament. Read it again, Dr. J. And this is in the New Testament. Children, obey your parents in all things. Not some of the things. Maybe this or maybe that. In all things. For this is well pleasing. Who is it pleasing to? Unto the Most High. Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. A fundamental feature of our walk with the Most High is that we become as little children and walk in obedience to the Most High's eternal words. We cannot become as little children without learning obedience. The essence of obedience. Ooh, I knew it. I knew it. The essence of obedience is really a heart issue. <laughs> the essence of obedience is really a heart issue. Let us ask ourselves some questions. Has Abba revealed his abundant love for us, especially through the sacrificial death and resurrection of his son, Yeshua HaMashiach? Has the Most High tenderly received us and forgiven us multiple times? Is our heart full of thankfulness? No, it's not. For his sacrificial love for us? Have we given our life to him and therefore we are serious about serving the most high? Does our heart generally desire to love and honor Abba? If we can answer yes to these questions, then whenever we obey the most high's written word, we demonstrate our loyalty to him. We demonstrate our belief in his truth. And we demonstrate our love for him. This is how we demonstrate our faith in him. Our obedience is the evidence that we trust Abba. That we believe his words are trustworthy. And regardless of how we feel. Whether we are in the mood or not, we want to obey Yah's written word, doing what is right and good in his sight. Our obedience reveals our firm commitment to live our life based on the principles of obeying the most highest written word, walking according to his ways. His everlasting truth. Truth revealed from the beginning. And though it will happen that we will not always understand some parts of the Most High's words, we certainly, however, want to obey the parts we do understand by simply doing what Abba says. If we do what he says, we will find that the doing of what he says results in more understanding and love for the most high and thus more obedience to his word. According to John chapter 7 verse 17. Let us remember Abraham obeyed the most high. Abraham obeyed Abba because he believed Abba's love for him. He believed Abba's word and Abraham 
obeyed even at times he did not fully understand. Right. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out not knowing whether he went. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. Therefore, with Abraham as our result, we must remember to not rely on feelings. Huh? Not rely on feelings. Or moods. Before being obedient. And not rely on our own understanding. Before being obedient. The most high's written word, according to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, only he who believes is obedient. And only he who is obedient believes. Have you ever read that before? Only he who believes is obedient. Oh my goodness. We've been calling ourselves believers and we don't even believe. And only he who is obedient believes. Obedience is a regular daily behavior. Say it again. Obedience is a regular daily behavior. Obedience to the written word of the most high ought to be regular Familiar thought pattern. Right. Wow. Obedience should be a regular, familiar thought pattern. It ought to be a daily behavior for all the children of the Most High. Yeah. Obedient children earnestly desire to serve their Abba. They love their Abba and are devoted to their Abba. Obedient children pay attention to the words of their Abba. In order to obey our heavenly Abba, we must learn his words. We must persistently study the Most High's written word, the entire Bible, so that we can know how to obey him. According to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 22. We learn his words because our hearts are devoted to honoring and obeying him. According to Psalms chapter 119, verse 11. We especially need to learn and study for ourselves the Ten Commandments. Let me say that you will discover that the keeping of the Fourth Commandment is a man. My commandments. John chapter 14 verse 15. By this we know that we love the children of the most high. When we love the most high and keep his commandments. First John chapter 5 verse 2. For this is the love of the most high. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not. Chapter 5 verse 3. These verses teaches us that obedience reveals our love for him. As obedient children, we should want to learn for ourselves the most high written words found in all the Bible. This is to be our way of life. We learn his written words so that we can obey him quickly and gladly. We deny ourselves in small ways and in great ways so that we can follow Abba's house rules. We do this because we love him. We obey him because we want to walk according to his truth. And we want to avoid twisted pagan explanations of scripture we want to avoid subtle counsels or preachings that reject Yeshua as Mashiach and Savior. 2 right. John chapter 1 verse 7. After all, he is the potter. What you say? After all, he is the potter. 
let us remember, we are the clay and he is the potter. We are to yield to the most high, willing to walk according to his desires. Our heart should be devoted to serving our loving Abba and promoting his interests, according to Isaiah. Chapter 64, verse 8. Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 6. Malachi, chapter 1, verse 6. Matthew, chapter 23, verse 10. It is not difficult to serve and obey our heavenly Abba. His commandments are not too hard. Abba has delivered us from the bondage of sin and he has given us an abundant enabling grace and all the things that concern our ability to obey him. See 1 John chapter 5 verse 3 through 5 and see 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. If we truly love the most high, if we truly believe his written word, then we will obey him with no hesitancy, living our lives according to the principles of obedience to his written word will be our way of life, the goal of life. We simply need to begin to learn the word and choose to do what we learn. Doing what we can do as well as we can. Regardless of the mysteries, the obstacles, or how we may feel. Stepping out in faith to obey him is to take one step at a time. As we begin to do any baby steps of obedience Abba will supply us with more understanding and more ability to obey. Thus, we will be more confident of Abba's love and care for us. Loyal and obedient. What you say, Dr. J? Loyal and obedient. May it be that the word obedience would be a familiar word to us and a familiar behavior and that obedience would not be a foreign word. Let us ask Abba to help us. Help us to be as a little child. May each of us have that genuine commitment to be loyal and obedient to Abba's written words. Even when it seems difficult. This is how we show love of him. Our loyalty, our honor, and our respect for him. And that, dear 5 a.m. prayer, is the essence of obedience. Amen, 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 and amen. Ooh, Lord. Somebody drop the mic because that was an awesome teaching. Thank you, most high God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Should ever leave
Y'all share this video, share this video. This was an awesome teaching. And the most high God came with correction. Don't you love him? I know I do. Honey, I love the most high God because he knows what you need when you need it. So get to the blog spot, get to Facebook, get to YouTube. It will encourage you. Have a supernatural day five. I love you, love you, love you. Oh, I love you. You know I love you. Bye now. Drop the mic. That's what I'm talking about. Drop that mic. So good. Bye now. So good.